23 cities across the country just got a stern warning from the Trump administration. If you're a sanctuary city, you might lose federal funding. One of those cities is Lawrence. This is the letter they received from Attorney General Jeff Sessions demanding proof that they're cooperating with federal immigration authorities or face subpoenas for documents. A sanctuary city is a loosely defined term. It means different things to different people, but they're basically cities that limit their cooperation with federal government's efforts to enforce immigration laws. And joining us tonight to discuss this is the mayor of Lawrence, Dan Rivera. Mr. Mayor, thanks for coming in tonight, and congratulations on a new baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, it's just a wonderful time in my life to be a, it's wonderful. a dad. Welcome to Charlotte. So here's the question. The Justice Department says that you are breaking the law by not allowing... Uh, local police to report undocumented immigrants to the feds. Is that true? It's not true, actually. And it's, uh, uh, you know, this whole effort is like a big red, red herring. There's nothing here. Um, first of all, they know everyone who we get, who we capture who we, for criminal activity. They know who they are because the database tells them immediately, hey, if you're looking for X person who's undocumented, Lawrence got them. Do they know? When someone's arrested. When someone's arrested. Um, and that's all really we're talking about. Will police officers, when arrested, um, hand over people? And we've done it nine times since we became a, 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 a secure community. Nine times we've helped the federal government, either ICE or uh, Homeland Security, either hold, capture, or arrest people um, who are undocumented, who are criminals. It's just the case. Tell us, how does sanctuary city status in Lawrence work? It works differently in different cities. Let me ask you a question. If an undocumented immigrant is uh, uh, arrested on, say, a drug charge, nonviolent offense, yeah. they're booked, the police discover this person is undocumented, what happens then? Anybody who gets, uh, who gets fingerprinted at the police station, which means anybody who gets arrested, is game for ICE to come and get them. The reality is that they just never do. So what they end up getting held on are the state charges or the local charges. Um, so, you know, if they really wanted to do something, they would just have to come and get folks. So, so what, what does make you sanctuary in that case? Well, that if you're driving down the street and you are driving without a license, that is not an arrestable offense. We'll tell your car, we'll tell, you know, we'll, we'll give you a, a fine that you have to go pay. You're just not going to report but them to never, the federal authorities. But if that happens to you, you're not going to get arrested. Right. Right. And, and in the letter, mm. the department says they want proof that you're cooperating. What would that proof be? Exactly. That's why I said that the, the range of information they're looking for is so <laughs> wide and varied. They're going to have to give us a little bit more expert. They want pictures and diagrams. I'm not really sure what they're talking about. But the reality is we never gave them any, any real reason for them to feel like we were hiding anything. Listen, I want the $72,000 to, to put right. brand new car, uh, brand new radios in my police officer's cars. I want that. That's the big irony about this. This is money they're going to use to help police officers get criminals. Right. They're talking about withholding federal funds yeah, because 70, 70, of your no. status. And, you know, there are some residents in Lawrence, of course, who disagree with you and want you to co cooperate. Well, that's what that I'm money. saying. Like, if you're, the thing that frustrates me the most is that this is a, a, another way to divide our community. We already do what everybody wants us to do, which is if you find a criminal who's undocumented, turn them over to, the, to ICE. We do that. What we don't do, and we've never done in this country, is take kids out of the classrooms, takes moms out of the workplaces, mm -hmm. people who aren't really causing any unsafety in the community. And that's what you mean by sanctuary. Officials at the Department of Homeland Security have taken it one step past DOJ. Yeah. One of the officials recently said they are looking into arresting mayors of yeah. cities that are sanctuary cities. Do you think it could escalate to that point where you end up in handcuffs for those? Listen, I, I think it's just, again, just bolstering. It's just political nonsense. Uh, if they really wanted, if we're real serious about this, they'd go after the education money. We get more federal education dollars than we do any other dollars we get. Go after the federal education money. But they don't want to do that. You know why? Because then they have to drag kids out of classrooms. Mm -hmm. you know, then they have to shut down classrooms and teachers and arrest teachers. This is all about dividing, uh, really talking about bad guys so you don't have to talk about the good guys. The dreamers and a path to citizenship, which everyone agrees on. How about that? They all agree on DACA, but they can't get it done. And then it's kind of fishy just a couple of days after they do this. Jeff Session comes out and says, well, we're going to go after the bad guys. We're already going after the bad guys. Well, your letter arrived today, and uh, this certainly isn't going to stop anytime soon, no. especially with that uh, March date on DACA looming. Mayor Dan Rivera, thanks so much for coming in tonight. Thank you so much, Mayor. Anytime. As always, Eric.